It's still pretty cold this morning, you know. It started off, I don't think, much more than 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh dear. Nina, we missed your question there. The communications are becoming a little bit uh, dodgy. Try again, Kirsten. What I got there, Nina, was animals and minerals in the soil. Um, or do they put salt out? Oh, do they put salt out? Or do they just get minerals from the soil? Yes, no, just minerals from the soil. There are no, as far as I'm aware, artificial salt licks out here. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Fergus. Yeah, lovely picture of Impala framed by the enormous trees on the banks of the Great Sand River. Now, of course, there's a sand river in the Sabi Sands as well. And it is very pretty as well. A bit more bird song as we've come close to the riverside. A few boo-boos, a lot of starlings. Digital, you're wondering about the typical impala herd size. Oh, it really does vary. In this area, I'd say this was about typical. This is a big bachelor herd of, uh, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, roughly 20 to 30 animals. I'd say that's about average for this area. In South Africa, probably slightly bigger. Probably 40 animals, I guess, would be roughly the average. But it really does vary hugely. And they're not stable social agglomerations, so they don't last for a long time. They could easily split up and then come back together again, go and join another herd. They just like to be around each other for safety. But there are social bonds between the individuals in a herd like this I don't think are very strong. You can see the wind rustling it there. I can hear some hardy dog. <laughs> Many starlings, parrots, mares, parrots. Sounds like the old uh, swallow as well. And robins, of course, white browed robin chats. This is a large bachelor herd, not one you amongst them. He's quite a fly ridden fellow, riddled fellow. Their horns are so impressive. And amongst the tea bushes there. Not so, Fergus. All right, let's go around the corner where we'll almost certainly find a leopard lying in the sun. I think com comms might get a little dodgy around here. Oh, a barbon. Kirsten, please give a comms test if you can. Sorry to park you on the slope, Fergus. Ah, we have got comms. There is the olive baboon. Or two versions thereof, anyway doing their little human thing of sitting on their backsides and having their breakfast. Probably eating roots. Possibly the odd seed if they can find it, but the, um, I think they're probably pulling out small grass plants and eating the, the rhizomes. I just think that they are spectacular looking creatures. Lions calling the way in the distance again. There are a few more of them there. And of course we've seen this in South Africa as well, haven't we? Baboons and Impala hanging around together. There we are. And they
I do that for security, largely. There isn't really a symbiotic relationship as far as the feeding goes, except, of course, that the baboons do drop things down from the trees which the impala can eat. Oh, little kiss. Teenage love. <laughs> I just think that the Chakma baboon that we have uh, up down in South Africa looks like a gangster. And I think these things look much more, um, I don't know, less like they're going to try and steal your lunch. The most gangster-looking baboon, I think, is the yellow baboon. They're really skinny and kind of ropey-looking things. Fuzzman Sparkles, you're wondering if I've seen a Sykes monkey in the Mara. I'm just trying to remember if I saw one here or I saw one. No, I saw one at the beach. I haven't seen one here. I believe they are on the mammal list for this area, but I don't think I've seen one here. I have seen one on the beach, though, far in the east of the country. Well, obviously it was in the far east, it was on the beach. Look at them warming in the sun. Ah, Indatuni, what an interesting question. You say, is the baboon considered a monkey or is it considered an ape? It's most definitely not considered one of the great apes at all. It is a circopith... I think they call it a circopithine uh, primate, so it is what it's basically you could say it was a monkey. There are lots of them, of course, but they're very distantly related to the great apes. Probably much further distant, uh, or much further related to them than we are to the great apes. But they do look so human, don't they, in so many of their mannerisms. Mm -hmm. Aubrey, you want to know if anybody knows if lions will kill baboons? Absolutely they will, and I've seen it. Um, I haven't actually watched it... Um, I haven't watched it live myself, sorry, I lost my train of thought because those two teenagers are now not kissing anymore, they've taken it to the next level. In fact, they've taken it four or five levels higher than that. Um, <laughs> they seem to be fairly unsuccessful, they've split apart now. Um, Aubrey, I've lost, completely forgotten what you asked. <laughs> what was the question again? Oh, lions kill baboons. Yes, they do. I've not seen it live, but I've seen, I've definitely seen footage of it, and I know it used to happen quite frequently uh, at a place called Ngala, where I used to work, and I've definitely seen lions eating baboons. So, yes, they can kill baboons. So they catch them on the floor like this. Uh, lions will catch them quite easily. Especially.